Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going into Expanded again. We're playing a pretty funny troll deck. This is going to be the Heracross troll deck here with the ability Guts. If Heracross would be knocked out by damage from an attack, it actually isn't knocked out, and instead its HP becomes 10. So it can be very annoying to play against. Of course, it can wall completely. And of course, we do have cards like aromatic energy so they can't poison us around guts it's a bit of a funny troll deck there's another version of this deck that uses um celebi the gem promo one but the gem promo celebi is very very expensive i wanted to build a version that was more budget friendly more easier to build for anyone watching this video because not all of you guys probably can afford that many of those celebis like celebi is like a 100 200 plus card it's expensive so just wanted to get that out there i know i didn't upload a video for a couple of days had to take a bit of a break because my monitor broke so i wasn't able to um make videos and i kind of liked having a break the games is really not that interesting right now in my opinion like the standard format isn't very fun to play um at all so it's like i, I don't mind taking the break for a couple days but i'm back now and yeah before we get the video guys course, share to sponsor car cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdcgo pack codes get them over at car cabin car cabin does sell codes online for the cheapest if you guys are looking for any set code like vivid voltage sword and shield rebel clash dark Blaze, get them over there of course when shiny fates goes live next month you can get them at car cabin they'll probably sell out very quickly so if you guys are looking for those shiny fates codes car cabin will probably have them in stock but probably not for long because they might sell out quick um of course, if you're looking for any other product, you can get over at Card Cabin. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, <clears throat> help yourself out, and up at Card Cabin, too. So shout out to Cabin, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF. Um, by the way, guys, I did get a brand new microphone. I got the Shure MV7 microphone. Uh, the Shure SM7B, a lot of you guys probably already know about that mic. That mic is used by a ton of big YouTubers and streamers. Um, that microphone is very expensive. It's like a $500 microphone and then you have to buy a bunch of equipment for it because you have to get an XLR cable. So it's like a $1,000 microphone in total. So the Shure 7MB is the very similar microphone, very similar quality, except this is a USB, which I'd prefer USB over XLR. So I hope you guys enjoyed the upgrade to the quality of my microphone. Let me know how it is. Let me know if I need any changes to it. I might have to adjust the noise and stuff like that, like the gate suppression. Let's look at the list here. This is what I'm playing. I played a lot of this deck recently. Um, it's a very fun troll deck. Uh, a lot of people will rage quit when you're playing against this. Sometimes people do not want to deal with this ability. It's very similar to Whimsicott and like Dragapult where you have to flip a coin to live. Uh, but this one is literally like it has to get knocked out for this ability to activate, which is really cool. Now, unfortunately, this attack is kind of underwhelming. 50 damage with pitch is not that great. You do force your opponent to switch, which can make things really awkward sometimes. 50 damage is not very good. We do have cards like Muscle Band and... Um, Voice band to help us get there. I also am playing a couple of Hustle Belts. Very good. Of course, when Guts activates, it'll have 10 HP left, which means Hustle Belt lets your pitch do 110 damage, which is good against Vs and stuff. Um, now, I am playing some other stuff in here, like Altaria, just to make things more annoying with these walls. Again, I didn't want to play the Celebi in here because the Celebi, like, it has a similar ability where if it's knocked out, it's not knocked out. You don't, your opponent doesn't take a prize and you actually put it back in your deck. Um, but again, it's a very expensive card and I want to make this more budget friendly for people to access. Um, they got a guru for instructor. This is kind of our only draw mechanism. As you can see, I'm not playing to Dene, Bat, or Lele. We're just trying to make the opponent go through six or five Heracross. Playing Lele or Dene just gives your opponent a free Gust and a free KO, and it makes it even harder to win the game. Um, I am playing some Dolls, another nice card in here. It's a Doll allowing you to get some uh, extra turns. And then we got Shrine to add extra damage. Um, just a ton of stuff. As you can see, Turbo Patch I'm also trying out. It's actually been working out really well. Being able to flip a coin of heads, you get energy in play. It'd be really good to try to keep building up your hair across. Um, it's actually really nice because hair across, you do need to go attach, attach. Though we do have counter energy, but counter energy doesn't count as a grass energy when it's actually done activated. So that's like the only problem there. And just got nest ball and net ball, just maxing out all four to maximize consistency. And of course, net ball can get us grass energy. Uh, they got range of ADP. Just a bunch of draw supporters. Just again, we're just trying to draw cards every turn and. Just playing a bunch of draw cards. As you can see, I'm not playing Layla Dedene or Bat because we're not trying to give up two prizes. Uh, that's it for the list. Uh, pretty fun list. Again, Romantic Energy plays a big role. Counter Energy is really good. Shrine's really good for damage ticks. Just a really fun troll deck, and we'll see if we can make people concede the game. All right, guys, getting into our first match with the Heracross troll deck. I'm interested to see if we can actually win a game or two with this deck. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we just got to troll some people, bro. Just got to troll. Make them rage quit, bro. Make them rage quit. All right, get the Heracross start. Got energy. You love to see it. All right, what are we playing against here? Darmanitan. Uh oh, we don't play Mew in the deck. There's no bench protection. Probably actually. Wonderful target be good in this matchup. All right. 
else has passed. This matchup could be tough though for sure. Darmanitan can hit our bench. They can knock out multiple Heracross at once, which is I guess one issue we could face here for sure. Yeah, Ultra Ball. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh wait, what? Evilax. Okay, that's a tag team. That's good to see. And Shine a Punishment. All right, what do we top deck? Energy. Wrong energy. Okay, here we go. Cynthia, come on, give us energy so we can hit this. It'd be greatly appreciated. No, we whiffed? Bro, not like this. I think we can play a Ranguru, though. We can draw one card. The energy's all there. We have to fail this. Got no basics. All right, here we go. Instruct one card. Give me an energy, please. Oh, let's go. The most insane clutch instruct on the planet. Best instruct ever. 10 out of 10. Would instruct again. Honestly, I wouldn't mind maybe playing Primate Wisdom in this deck, too. I don't want to play too many Pokemon that aren't Heracross, because the idea of this deck is, at the very least, they can go through five Heracross, and then you got the Altari on top of that. Um, at least we got the Swablu down. I actually might... I kind of want to hit this again, if we can draw into a Floatstone. Escape Rope. That's not going to work. And then we just Cynthia. We just draw more cards. Just keep trying to get energy in play. That's the goal of the deck, is just keep trying to get energy in play. Um, pitch Switch him back And luckily a romantic energy here carries us They can't paralyze us with freezing headbutt Which is really good We'll see what they have I don't understand I mean they discovered a 3 ultra ball So if they played a Denny or a Crobat or Lele Those are no longer on the table The problem with their Mantan though Again it's a V right It's not going to be able to be damaged too hard by Choice Band It's not going to be damaged by Shrine of Punishment They really should make a Shrine of Punishment for Vs And the paralysis doesn't even matter here Which is really good what do we top deck? Death Machine? The first Rage Quit of the video. There we go. You love to see it. All right, guys, get into another match. First game Rage Quit. You love to see it. And we win the coin flip. Cool stuff. Let's see what we start with here. Can we get a good hand? We do. Not bad. Got a lot of stuff. Start with Heracross, obviously. Probably going to Cynthia. I might hold the hand, too. I don't know. We have counter energy, so we have that option. Go here. But we have to touch the active, I think. We'll see what we're playing against here. Expanded is the Wild West. You never know what you might hit. As long as it's an alternate Crosmer, like Hotchka or something stupid. Should be okay. Rillaboom? We beat that? Probably. Actually, let's put Swablu in play. Altaria might be good here, to be honest. They can see... The Rage Quits, bro! The Rage Quits! Right, guys, let's try again with the deck here. Uh, see if we can get a bit of a longer game. We've gotten some people conceding, which is... Mission complete, I guess. Uh, we'll see how it goes in another match here. And we'll see if Guts can actually wear. I don't we haven't really used Guts yet, I don't think. Or we have, but we haven't been able to make use of it too much. We'll see what my opponent's playing here. Like, they got a water deck, which is fine. There are water Pokemon weak to grass and expanded still. Like, there's a lot of water Pokemon weak to grass and expanded. Um, there's a Heracross start. Not a bad hand. I think we can play Guru at least, which is good. Assuming it's not prized, because we don't have a supporter. Okay, we'll see what my opponent's playing here. Again, they got water. Will we make him rage quit because of Heracross's busted ability? Let's find out. Squirtle, yo, my boy Squirtle, dude. Chill. All right, yo, do we got the Heracross? The Oregon Goo? We do, okay. We can go here. Ne oh, we can wait a turn um, to draw cards also. We can play down three cards now. Sure. I want to draw cards with Guru here, so I'm just going to go all in. There we go. We can go Energy next turn. Pitch will actually knock out Squirtle because it is weak to Grass. Um, the only problem with that turn is we fall victim to just Field Blower Counter Stadium. No, they play Fion. No, dude. Now we have to switch out our Heracross. This is why I do play the Escape Rope. Oh, no. I think I just promote another Heracross. That sucks. We're going to be a turn behind, because unless we draw a float stone here, we're not going to be able to attack the Squirtle. Ether, Sure thing. Sure thing. All right, do they have another Pokemon? We'll see what we can do with Guru, too. Yep, there's a Pokemon weak to grass. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Kind of scared of, like, rough seas. So that's, like, the one thing that kind of scares me, though, is rough seas. Because, like, yeah, they kind of stadium. Bad stuff. My low tick, Sure thing. It's not weak to grass. It's a bit hard to deal with. It is a V Pokemon, right? Yeah, they actually attach to the Milotic, which is interesting. I mean, we just go attach the active Struck for one. Another Netball. Get another Heracross. I don't even know if there's one in the deck. Yeah, there is. So let's get an army of Heracross in play. 
Then if they do Fiona again, we can just go into the other hair cross. So I guess it's fine that that actually happened. Um, to be honest, so it's not too bad. I do want to knock out the Squirtle, but it doesn't become a Blastoise, and there it is. Is it Blastoise GX though? It ooh, okay, it's not the Deluge one. Thank heavens. Oh, they actually failed their ability. Yo, let's go, bro. The ability fail. Okay, can my low tick one shot me? It can. It does actually just enough too. Right, instruct. Can we get a supporter finally? Nope. All right, pitch then. Hit him for a hundred. We can Guzma this down the road, knock it out, which is pretty cool. The Milotic's going to come in, which is kind of scary. We can hit it. Not too hard. We don't have the Hustle Belt on this Heracross, which is the only issue. Fine, though. I mean, we got the Army of Heracross. I mean, they still have to go through four Heracross with that Milotic. Can it happen? We're about to find out. Ooh, they do hit the nuts off Powerful Squall. Yo, they got a lot of energy. Okay, that made up for their fail last turn. All right, here we go. Will Heracross live... I'm fine with that because I'd rather the one with the Hustle Belt on it survive, but that still kind of sucks. Can we draw a Supporter finally? Yes, we do. It's an N. We can put the Counter Energy on, I guess. We can put on Guru, actually. No, we need to play Energy down to attack. Play the Counter Energy down. I think we just put the Base Grass Energy on. I don't really want to play the end to be honest. I don't really... They haven't played a Supporter. Like, they aren't drawing anything. We might as well just pitch them again. We have a Counter Energy, so if they do knock out my hair across, we have the Counter Energy to attack again it's not too bad powerful squall they can heal with flash maker which is one issue okay they got a lot more energy do they have energy in their hand though all right if we live here we can uh, knock them out unless they heal let's go perfect so we get to hit them for 110 and they don't get a heal off um that has 16 hp so we can't knock that out that's this is good though we can just go pitch. We'll knock him out 220 damage. And if we can get Guts to get heads again on the Milotic, we're even in a better spot. We're just going to be big chilling here. All right, cool beans. Let's see what we got off the prizes. Uh, Turbo Patch is pretty good. We can build up stuff quicker. We got a Ranger and another N. All right, not the greatest prizes. The Turbo Patch I'll take, though. Try to get more energy in play, which is the goal. Because Counter Energy doesn't work anymore, actually. Well, not at the moment, anyways. If we live here, this is huge. Come on, Heracross. Do your job and live the turn. Come on, Guts. Yes, let's go, bro. Yeah, well, the best ability in the game. The best ability. All right. Uh, Doll's pretty good. Throw a patch, go burr. No. Well, counter G. I'll play the energy on the Guru. We'll have to end them. I mean, I haven't played a sport yet, but got to do something. Yeah, we got Cynthia for next turn, which is pretty good. We'll just pitch. The only problem is I did just end them, so they probably get a switch. We know they play switch because they got one off that ether. They do have 50 HP, so my low has just enough HP left to get knocked out buy my hair across which is pretty good um sure goldine how much energy are they down seven they fail that if we knock out the blastoise here the game's almost over because i'm just gonna knock out my low tick to wrap up the game i am still scared of rough seas coming down uh, articuno that's not really a big threat all right cool get a knockout you get a field blower don't need to play it all right we'll just cynthia i wish we did have a gust there i wouldn't mind knocking out my low tick Ooh, this hand not that great. No energy. I'll play the stretcher though. Just get the hair across. Get that boy back into play. We do take a knockout on this last choice. They promote the Milotic. We do just win the game. Assuming we don't whiff an energy, of course. We just probably Juniper. We just got knocked out Milotic to win the game and it's over. They could promote the Articuno though, but that's not really that efficient. I guess like they could go Seeking. Oh, they actually, okay. Maybe they do go Seeking. Seeking can ruin my energy. There's a grass. All right. They didn't promote my low tick though. We did get a grass energy for hair cross, which is nice. No, there's the rough seas. No, that's what I was scared of. Was the rough seas. They're gonna Nessa. Probably get Squirtle, Blastoise, Blastoise Piplup. Energy. No, they don't get Squirtle. Yikes, dude, the rough seas. And that's what I was scared of. Because now a lot of our damage gets mitigated. We have to find another uh, shrine. We should find one though. It's not too hard to find. They actually promote the my low tick, so we just win here if we get heads again on guts. Yo, one time. No. That would have been so nice. Ah, the rough seas, bro. Hmm. Yeah, we just promote hair cross. We can't do much else. There's Guzmo. That would have been nice a couple turns earlier. We could just end them, but they don't really seem to have a good hand. How many VSCs we played? None. So we can afford a Juniper. I'm just going to dump the hand, just try to get Shrine, which we do not find. F in the chat. Can play our hand down though, I think. 
We have to play escape rope to do that. Okay, never mind. We can't play our hand down. We'll just pitch them then. I mean, they'll heal another 30. Uh, we could... Yeah, that sucks. There's nothing I can do about that rough seas. It's just healing too much damage. These V Pokemon are too bulky, bro. They're just too dang bulky. And there's no way to do extra damage other than Muscle Band. I guess, like... I guess, theoretically, we could... We still Field Blower. We could Field Blow the Hustle Belt off. Then knock out the Milotic with Pitch that way, I guess. But we don't have Field Blower to work with. They are going to go into the Milotic again. Now, we win the game if we don't get knocked out. All right, Guts, come on. Get heads, please. No, dude. Guts failed again, bro. Stop getting tails. All right, we have to sit behind a doll. We can Goose Mahala for Shrine. I'm gonna put that there. How many aromatics do I have left? One. As long as we get the shrine in play. We'll get counter energy, but we're not gonna get it working just yet. As long as we get this counter stadium in play, I'm happy. Honestly, maybe we should just power up Guru, because we can psychic knock this out. Yeah, we probably should just power up Guru instead of putting the energy in the hair cross. I mean, it's still like, they're, they still have a long way to go. They still have to go through two Heracross. Okay, there's a Marnie. That's fine. As long as they don't find a Rough Seas. That's better than a Gust, because they're not going to get a prize on the Doll. That's why I like having Dolls. Just sitting back for a turn can be really beneficial. Okay, there's a Shrine again. They play Doll too. Sure thing. Why not? Let's everyone play Doll in their deck. Are they going to go in, bud? Are they going to go into the Doll? No, they're just going to Aqua Impact. For no... 10 damage, bro. Why would you not Hypno Splash? We can't win this turn. We still have Altari in the deck. That's not bad, actually. At the spot we're in. Ooh, we only have two energy left for Heracross. We prize two basic grass energy. We do have the Field Blower, so we can blow her this off. Still have our Muscle Bands. We can go... We might actually be able to win this turn, so we can blow her... Th we have to have an energy, though. We'll blow her that off. Big Brain Play, ready? We instruct for one. No, as long as it's not a Muscle Band or, or, or energy. Then we can... Juniper? Oh, if only we could play Guzmahala. Yeah, Guzmahala would have won us the game. Oh, that's the wrong energy. If only we got a Aromatic there, we would have knocked them out. Oh, no, we didn't get the Muscle Band. Never mind. So we didn't get the Nuts. I mean, might as well build up Guru then. It's pretty good here. I'm just going to pass. This is our last Shrine, too. We have a Field Blower, though. But the Shrine doesn't really matter. This thing's already heavily damaged. All right. What's happening? He hits the doll. Do I mean, we'll see if he knocks it out. All right, finally knocks it out. All right, this is fine. We just need energy to win the game. And we have game, right? We just go... Who's Mahala? Right? I think it's game. So we... Go via Seeker. Or Goose Mahala. And this is why I like playing it. In the deck. Because as you can see, it's why we're winning the game right now. Get a Romantic and Muscle Band. Yeah, the band was in there. That was the Romantic. And that's game. Made him rage quit. Kicked on you. <laughs> Alright guys, get another match. Now, we haven't hit any like insanely competitive decks. Now, my theory is, is that not a lot of people are playing the Expanded Ladder right now. Because of the Players Cup is going on right now. So, maybe that's why we just haven't been running into like the most insane Expanded decks. But I'd probably rather play against that than Ultra Necrozma. Like, Ultra Necrozma just sucks the fun out of this game. <laughs> Ooh, Metal. No, dude. It looks like it's ADP and they do play... Yeah, ADP is a bad matchup. We have Ranger, though, but the only problem is Zacian, and we do, like, no damage to it. Yeah, we do, like... Oh, maybe not. Barracuda. Okay. We don't play Bench Protection, but that's fine. What would they be using Air... What, what would they be using Air Barracuda with, though? We Bench Swablu, just have it in play. Sure. Altaria could come in handy in this matchup. They have the Zacian. Altaria can actually do damage to it. It does 80 damage. I, mean, I guess you're playing ADP. ADP... Barriscuta? Hey, that's fine. We can beat that. We just need to find Ranger. Right? We They go Alter Creation, and we hit him with a Pokemon Ranger. Bye-bye, Alter Creation. No longer in effect. Actually, I do think they still get 30 damage, but I they don't have access to the ability to take extra prize, which is the big deal. That's why Alter Creation is so broken. Two energy, take extra prize card. Oh! Yo, Cramorant ADV? This guy's found out the sauce. 
Unfortunately, it looks like he's playing a standard version of the deck. Because there's no double dragon energy, no probably no DC to help. We'll have to see. We have Ranger in the deck. It's there. Okay, good. Just making sure. Should we just end them? So I want to find Shrine and Ranger. None of the above. We did get Floatstone though, so we can knock out the Aracuda. We can go Rope actually. We can't knock this out. Actually, there isn't any point to damage it because it just gets removed by Continuous Gulp Missile. Yeah, we'll play the Rope. Maybe they'll give us the ADP. Maybe they don't know what Heracross's pitch attack does, right? They give us ADP. Nah, dang it, bro. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, draw an extra card. Ranger. Field blower. Nope, rip. Eh, I'll have to pitch him. I maybe shouldn't even have bothered attacking them. Make him find a switch water energy. That might have been a bit better because there's really no need to attack the Aracuda. I might have just helped them, to be honest. We'll see what happens. I mean, if we don't draw anything Ranger-wise, we can just go Guzma Hala. I mean, to be fair, Ranger, like, might not even work because of Guts, right? If we get heads on their Ultra Creation... Oh, they actually give us an Aracuda anyways. Okay, I don't know why they wouldn't give us the ADP. Big Charm. That's fine. We get the Field Blower. I think we Guzma Hala this hand. We could also Guzma the ADP and hit it for 50, which is tempting. Or we are not going to do that because we just got Field Blower or Tool Scrapper. Maybe do Goose Mahalo then and just get another energy on the bench hair cross. We'll see. We can one shot cram with the hustle belt on, which is pretty nice, assuming we ever get to that point. Oh, okay, they had an air blue, but they actually don't attach. Alright, I might not attack them. Yeah, I think we just Goose Mahalo and I'm not I might not even pitch them. There's literally no need to hit 50 damage on this thing. We'll see what they do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Goose Mahalo. Okay. We have to discard our top deck though. The choices in life. Oh, we definitely play this. I think we just Cynthia then instead of Goose Mahala. As long as we don't whip the nuts. Ooh, we kind of did. We didn't get what I was looking for, which was that Ranger. Now I wish I did play the Goose Mahala. I'm gonna pass. I mean, they have to get a switching card and a water energy. They have a four card hand. They can't play any Pokemon on the bench to draw more cards right now. We just wait until they get there. They could just attach the active and then next turn they can go into the ADP. We really need to find that ranger though. That's the only problem is we only play one, right? We don't have a good way to really draw into it. We just have to hope that we draw it with our supporters and like instructs. It's a problem with not playing, you know, two prizers in this deck, but you don't want to play two prizers. Um, ooh, there's a downs machine. That's a huge draw. So we can do this. Get back Cynthia. Go here. Spread the energy out. What do we get? If we get Ranger, we hold the hand. Oh, got a muscle band. We can knock him out. I'll take it. Ah, it works for me. I'm looking for Shrine too. Shrine and Ranger would be nice. Hmm. <clears throat> None of the above, bro. What do you mean? Alright, we'll knock him out. Might as well. Just put some pressure on them now. If they do Alter Creation, they do it. Whatever. They didn't attach last turn, so I gotta assume they don't have it. So we can just hit them. Knock out the gate. Knock, take a prize. Let me just gotta knock out ADP and Crobat. But we can't knock out Crobat. It's easily. What do we get? This ball. We're not gonna be able to Ranger them this turn. The only problem with this is... They get the AC off. They could knock me out and get two easy prizes. Or they don't knock me out. Guts gets heads. They don't get the knockout. They don't get their prizes. And then we Ranger them before they even got a prize. So that still is kind of in our favor. That's what we're gonna have to hope for here. Is that when they do AC, it doesn't work. There's a Sonya again. All right, they can get the water energy here. I don't want them to, uh, I don't want them to do Ultimate Ray either, because they can just build up the cram. I like the idea, but this deck really, it's a standard build, bro. It's like, bruh. Maybe they'll Ultimate Ray me, actually. Now nah, they're gonna Alter Creation. They definitely don't, yeah. Here we go. What do we draw? Ranger? Nope. Put that there, I guess. I don't think he plays more than one Tool Scrapper. All right. Cynthia. And we got to hope that we survive the turn here to have a fighting chance. Still no ranger, bro. Where's my man's at? Well, we can pitch and maybe hope that he doesn't have a switching card. Oh, he just attaches retreats, which is, I guess, fine. If he knocks me out, though, that's going to be really problematic. We need This is like the one turn we need guts to work. We just can't find ranger. We've played a lot of draw supporters already. We played Cynthia like... Three times. We still haven't found Ranger yet. Viridian. That's... Ooh, we could play that actually and do Instruct. 
Well, it looks like he's actually going to go for the gold missile here. He can get rid of the two Aracudas, but that's not... He can knock me out, maybe? We can't one-shot him in return. Without the Hustle Belt. Quick ball for another cram. I mean, if we deal with the ADP, he just runs out of attackers. How's he ever going to loop this continuously without, like, Nessa? He doesn't have really have that much draw. His bench is already clogged up. Because he has the bat and the Eldegoss in play. Here we go. We need to survive. Come on, one time. Let's go! Bo, oh, the guts! The guts! The guts is nuts. There's a Juniper. Play this. Be there Juniper. Since we lived the turn, we didn't give up the prize. We can't do... Yeah, we can't do what I was wanting to do. Yeah, okay, just Juniper then. Come on, Ranger. Still no ranger, bro. What? Yo, where is the ranger at? Seriously. All right, let's just knock. Let's just hit them for 70. Might as well attack them. Then we can just knock them out the normal pitch. I can't believe we can't find our ranger, bro. I know it's like not insane odds because we only have one in the deck, but we've drawn so many cards for the past like four or five turns. And the fact that we haven't seen it yet is actually kind of insane. We also haven't found Altaria yet, which would be nice to find. It's not the end of the world if they do knock me out, but it's like getting there. It is getting there. All right, come on. If we get heads, this is insane. One time, Heracross. Where do they even put this energy, actually? They don't really have... I guess they could build up Eldegoss. That doesn't one-shot me, though. But they have a heal mechanism, I guess. Yo, let's go, bro. The guts. Who needs Alter Creation or Ranger when you just get heads? Oh, man. We still... And they... The conceit, bro. Let's go. <laughs> when you beat an ADP and you didn't even Ranger them... <laughs> That's just too good, bro. That's just too good. All right, guys. To wrap up the video, I actually do have some packs to open up. I have one Vivid Voltage, and I have six chests to open up. Okay, I have a lot of chests. Let's open up the chest, but that'll wrap up the video, guys. To end off the video, we made an ADP deck concede the game, and we didn't even get to Ranger their Alter Creation. That is a win in my books, if you ask me. And that's the Heracross deck. You just get lucky enough with Guts. It's insane. It's like Whimsicott's a stage one, but imagine that ability on a basic. Just imagine. All right. Ooh, we're getting a lot of... Uh, we're getting a lot of rares out of these chests, which is pretty good. Ooh, that's a good pull, actually. I mean, we need to revisit that Haxorus deck. I've seen a list online for the deck. I'll have to ask for it. Holy rares, bro. Let's go. Empoleon. That's not bad. How many do we have left? Two. Oh, that's going to break the rare streak. Yeah. Well, actually, that's not a bad pull either. Versus Hulk and Cynthia. I don't need it, but it's not bad. We got a Dan. Bruh. All right. Cool beans. <laughs> What other packs? We just got the Viv Voltage? Yeah, yeah, it's Viv Voltage. All right. We'll open up this one Viv Voltage pack from the ladder, and that'll be it for the video on at the Heracross deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. We made ADP deck Rage Quit. We made quite a few people just concede the game because they are they just can't stand the Heracross and the constant switching. This is how you do it. Aw, Trakian. Rip. All right. Well, that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, honestly, let me know what you guys thought of the deck. Let me know also, guys, what you think of the microphone too. my new Shure. Let me know what you guys would change about this list too. I would be curious to know what you would change about it. To be honest, uh, you could cut the Altaria. And if you do have any gem promo Celebes, like, if you actually have any of these Celebes here, y'all can use them. And maybe, maybe down the road, like I'm talking a while from now, maybe like a few more months from now, maybe I'll do the video on the Celebi Heracross deck. It's just a bit expensive, but I could definitely put that together if you guys really wanted me to. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Heracross, Cel or this Heracross deck. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Leave a like down below. Check out my Patreon down below if you guys are interested. $2 a month to get access to exclusive content um i just posted a legacy video over there if you guys want to go watch that you guys can maybe i'll post more matches with this deck over on my patreon maybe i'll even post the celebi Heracross deck over my patreon if i can borrow those celebis from someone anyways that'll be it for the video guys uh check out my twitch down below follow me on twitter follow me on the road reaching 14,000 subs peace out